So without further ado, I will introduce the first presenter, that's uh, Natasha Berry, and her title of her project is Opportunities for New Entrant Generation Technologies in South Australia. So will you please welcome Natasha to the stage. The current climate change debate has paved way for technological innovation of new generation technologies on a global scale. In light of the clean energy future legislation in Australia, my research seeks to identify the opportunities for new generation technologies in South Australia under the current business uncertainty. In my research, I have identified these uncertainties primarily in terms of the carbon prices, the domestic gas prices, and the electricity demand, which is highly dependent on the demographics. In this research, I have primarily considered the cost of generating electricity from various generation technologies and analyzed how these costs have been impacted under various business uncertainties. I have used a professional electricity market software to determine the set of generation technologies which will fulfill the demand in South Australia in the most economic manner over the next 20 years. These results have been based on a least cost principle basis, which gives the most optimum results to the end user. I have also strategically analyzed, apart from looking at the cost, that how these investments will be affected based on the current as well as future investment patterns in the national electricity market. In final conclusion, from my research, I have determined that irrespective of the uncertainty over closure of the Playfoot power plant in South Australia, which is a dirty coal generator, there exists marginal baseload investment opportunity in the state. This highlights the very peaky nature of demand in South Australia. Also, as a result of the rising domestic gas prices, there exists marginal investment opportunity for a combined cycle gas turbine. Instead, you have renewable generators like geothermal being more attractive investment opportunities. Also, and this is surprisingly, as a result of the rising domestic gas prices, we see that coal generators remain more economical than gas generators, which is a little bit of a disappointment, but I'd be more than happy to take that up and prove to you how it's more economical in the long run and how coal has a brighter future <laughs> irrespective of the CO2 monster, as Professor Simon puts it across. So that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, I'll be by my post to take it. Thank you.